Typey, typey, typey. It's good job I don't have a mechanical keyboard. That'd be three times as loud. Just making sure that the stream is not indicating that I'm playing StarCraft 2. Most people do tend to get a bit rowdy. There we go. Now I'll switch the monitor display over to HDMI and I should be good to go. Also, I will need to know... I think levels are okay, honestly. They should be fine, but... I just want to be 100% sure of that. Whoa, okay, switching to HDMI did make it hop over just a little bit. I'm using an HDMI splitter at the moment. So, there we go, it should auto-correct. Good, good. That's what we like to see. See, I'm gonna... The enemy crushed my legs, but he couldn't crush my spirit. And he couldn't stop me from serving my country. I met Farnsworth in the radio corps of the Pacific. Didn't talk much. We just listened to enemy broadcasts, hoping to hear a code, a signal, anything. What we heard, no one was prepared for. Where it came from, nobody knew. Farnsworth and I were the only survivors. But after the broadcast, we were not the same. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, or in our case, smarter. Suddenly, I could create miraculous machines to help the war's wounded walk again. And suddenly, I was the toast of the town. Until people saw Farnsworth's creation. Why walk when you can bring the world to you? From the safety of your own bed, take it all in. Devour the world. Did the tubes drive him mad? Or did his madness use the tubes to escape the prison of his mind? All we know for sure is that the tubes are the plague to end all plagues. The nation requires our service. And so, without hesitation, we return to our trenches and march. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a test of my new capture card, the Avamedia Game Broadcaster HD, an internal PCI Express capture device, currently running for use of HDMI. Those interested in the setup, it involves using said capture card with a powered HDMI splitter. In this case, I'm using an HDMI 1x2 by Cableson, which seems to do the job quite nicely. It's powered, so there is no signal degradation. This is currently streaming through XSplit at 720p natively. There is no screen region capture involved in that. It is actually via direct show, meaning that the entire video stream goes directly into XSplit and does so without latency. The sole reason that I'm doing this WTF is, is to completely and hopefully give this thing a good run for its money because I intend to do the Asura's Wrath live stream, if you recall, correctly on Sunday the 18th. And this is an opportunity for me to look at a game which I haven't had the chance to play but I've been very interested in for a long time. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is, without further ado, the time where I ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Iron Brigade. Iron Brigade was known previously as Trenched, but apparently they got into some trouble. I think it was actually with a German metal band or something. That's the crazy thing about it. 
But whatever the case, I don't know what it was for, but they had to change the name from Trenched, which is unfortunate because Trenched is a really good name. Iron Brigade, not so much. It is by Double Fine. You may know Double Fine. You should know Double Fine, certainly. Responsible for Psychonauts, responsible for Brutal Legend, and recently Costume Quest stacking, and all sorts of other great stuff. This was only released on 360, which is highly disappointing, because this was the... They made four games, right? And the whole story behind this was that while they were finishing off Brutal Legend, they basically took some time off, they split the studio into four teams, and they went and came up with an idea and said, just do whatever you want. And then those ideas got stuck in a filing cabinet, and then they were taken out after Brutal Legend was done and made into games. And so you got stacking, costume quest, something else which I can't quite remember, and it might be Once Upon a Monster, actually, and Trenched, a.k.a. Iron Brigade. Now, stacking and costume quest are available on PC... And they're also available on PS3 as well. But for some reason, Trenched and Iron Brigade never left the 360. Now, I'm hoping this will change, considering Double Fine is porting games over to PC at the moment. But for the time being, it's only available on 360. It also has a DLC called something like Revenge of the Martian Bear or whatever, which I do have. Now, I've never played this before. My impression of it, however, is that it seems to be one of the new kind of active tower defense, is what I like to call them. And I call them active tower defense simply because you don't just place the tower and then watch something happen. You do something. And let, let me just demonstrate what I mean by that. What, are your legs broken? On your feet, soldier. Something like that. Take that mask off. You'll get used to the smell. This is what I mean by active tower defense. So, trench is all about mobile trench warfare. The trenches are actually 1920s mechs, which can be outfitted with a wide variety of different equipment. You can fight directly in these things as well as place towers. Now, let us select a pilot, shall we? Hmm, you know what? This guy seems reasonable. Finds American television obtuse. That guy. Well, we didn't recruit you for your looks. Let's get you ready for action. Indeed. Son, you are standing in the greatest invention that military science has ever devised for keeping a soldier safe on the battlefield. The trench. The only way to get hurt in a trench is to get out of the trench. So we've made some small modifications to eliminate that need. Mechanical legs, fresh water supply, full bar, Delicious. latrine, cigar humidor, first aid kit, etc., etc. Let me show you how it works. You can start by looking up at the sky. Nicely done. We've got intel the tubes will be attacking our coastal ammo. All right, level. first thing. Now let's get. Let's see if I can change this. First thing, it's on inverted controls. Oh, I hate that. Don't tell me I can't change them. Oh no, there we go. I was going to say, invert camera Y, off. Thank you very much. There we go. That training Problem solved. Motion. This is a surprisingly fast trench. Not something you usually hear me say. It does also have Gatling guns. You know, I, I think I've pretty much figured out how to shoot. Great. We'll be marking key assets for you to defend with these green flares. You can monitor the integrity of the ammo depot with this meter. Make sure you defend those assets with your life. Let's try some target practice. Nice shooting, Marine. What was that, anyway? Destroying tombs will gain you experience. As you gain experience, you'll be promoted to higher ranks. Higher ranks authorize use of better trench equipment. Hmm. Your guns will automatically damn it. reload when you empty them. But you can manually reload them, too. Nice work. Don't worry about ammo. We've got more than enough bullets for those two bastards. A series of tubes. Intriguing. Our intel was right. Here they come, soldier. Is this your plan, Frank Woodruff? To send another innocent man to die in your place? When you could join me today and end all this bloodshed? Well, I too have created a lineman. 
with a single-minded desire to spread the broadcast and destroy anything that blocks the city. Yeah, this is double fine. <laughs> Straight up double fine, right there. Good lord. We're expecting more waves of tubes. What an art style. We'll be marking their conduits when we detect a tube presence. Farnsworth can send his monovisions through multiple conduits at once. Stay vigilant. I don't know what- I don't think it's just console games that do this, but the ex overly extended tutorials do get on my nerves a little bit. I was actually very pleased when I loaded up Deep Black, which has an option to skip tutorial. Eventually it'll give out. Just wonderful. Check your gauge and be careful. Unfortunately that game doesn't work and crashes in the first level, but hey. It appears I may have underestimated your new trench money. It takes a bold man to shoot an enemy that can't shoot back. It was your fault for sending it in the first place. I have wondered will. May he spread the wisdom of the broadcast. Those Tommies will park off in the distance and attack their target. Get out there and take them down. Working on it. Well, that was simple enough. Idea to reload your weapon between waves. Really? <laughs> Oh, console games. I love being treated like an idiot. Good job, Brain. Thank you, sir. They walked into my bullets. We're picking up a massive two broadcast. We won't be able to handle this one alone. We're coming for you. Are these good thing or a bad thing? I, I'm gonna go with good thing. Why couldn't I've had those in the first place? Good thing I'm so damn competent for playing all these PC games. I'm sorry, bro. What? We got a Marine. Damn tubes. Is I, Let's I, get you aboard. Can, can, can I pilot that? I want that right now. Alright, so as you probably figured out, it is it is a tower defense game. The nature of which is that you place towers and also you fight by equipping your trench with different weapons. You have there a light sniper cannon that is available. No emplacement kills, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yes, mighty, mighty. Are these achievements, or do they give me something beneficial? It's a good question. My god, that seagull is huge. Sir, Private Stanley reporting for duty. I didn't know the Brits were in this area. Ah, oh, yes. Funny story there. No time for chit chat, soldier. A situation has developed. We've finally located the source of the broadcast. That's the good news. The bad news is, we're gonna have to fight through one unholy nightmare after another to get there. So let's get started. I love the style of this game, I really do. It's double fight Thanks all over. Your efforts. The ammo depot is safe. We have to get you back out on that beach. Reports from the front line speak of a new breed of tube, one that's held that on destruction. Don't let them get too close or this ship's going down. And believe it or not, I'm not the best swimmer. Hmm, customize the trench. That sounds like a plan. Let's do that, this shall we? This is your trench bay, Marine. Customize your trench here between missions. I'll recommend gear for each mission, based on our best intel, and also my gut which is infallible as far as you're concerned. You're free to ignore my gut, but I don't recommend it. Oh, it's talking right now. Can you hear it? It just said you'll want to equip that new sniper cannon on this next mission. Each weapon occupies a specific number of slots on your trench. For example, sniper cannons take up two slots. It'll replace both machine guns on either side of your trench. Okay, then. 
Hmm. Change hat. That's vitally important. Unfortunately, I cannot do so. Not at the moment, anyway. Oh, well. I must unlock hats somewhere in this game. Are there hats in the shop? I can sell weapons. Well, that really is about it. Alright, let's modify the weapon. Pray I do not modify it any further. Now you're ready to launch the mission. Feel free to deploy when you're ready. That is one big ass gun. I am happy with this. Very happy. Hmm, I guess I'll leave the other one as a machine gun, I suppose. Let's go stomping. Three conduits have erupted just off the coastline. You'll need to protect the ship as we prepare to shove off. If they breach the hull, we'll never make it out of here. You're not going to be able to hold this beach by yourself. We're authorizing the use of the ship's emplacement cannons. We've deployed some emplacement bases to mark good locations for turrets. Let's get a shotgun turret down on the forward emplacement base to deter incoming tubes. That... I can't imagine that sentence being uttered by a voice actor. I mean, really. How much did they pay him to say that? And he probably read the script and like, what the hell is this? Alright, so... Fairly similar to games like Toy Soldiers, which you may or may not be aware of because you might not have a console. Very much a case of you build emplacements in specific Shotgun areas. Inbound to your location. As you can see. Each emplacement occupies a section of the battlefield. Keep the boundaries in mind when placing them. There we go, we can have one there, and we can have one there. Actually, I don't know, maybe you can deploy them. It is possible, I guess. I'll, I'll have to check that out once I get some more cash. Alright, so I have a sniper cannon, which, well, not much of a sniper cannon, doesn't have a scope. Well, that would be much use, but hey, there you go. When you kill tubes, they drop scrap. Collect the scrap, and we can use that energy to launch helpful emplacements for you. I'm Your collecting television. a powerful magnet that you can activate to help collect scrap. Useful. Nicely done. There we go. I was going to say, if you have to run around collecting scrap all over the place, that would get incredibly annoying very fast. They did think of that, however, it would seem. Reload the guns. Open fire. It's rather satisfying to smash your way through waves and waves of enemies. And I think, honestly, this is probably the direction the tower defense has been going in lately, and I think you've probably seen You'll need to watch our flank too. quite a few games Get on my channel. On the second emplacement like to guard Dungeon the other Defenders. Side of the ship. Stuff like... Of course, Sanctum, which is very much that kind of style. Like, so, no, it doesn't look like I can deploy pretty much anywhere. It's got to be on one of these pads. Ow. Oh, there we go. Okay, off you go. But yeah, there's certainly a hope of this coming to PC. But I have no idea. I mean, it, it's weird that they chose Costume Quest as the first thing to port. I mean, that, that was a very odd choice. It's just because it, it, it's got such a strong theme behind it. I think, you know, you know what the theme of Costume Quest is. It's, it's very much Halloween. So, it's odd to develop a game that's themed around that kind of stuff because it does have a certain seasonal appeal. It's why I never understand why companies develop Christmas games. It's the stupidest idea. I suppose Halloween maybe has a little bit more appeal outside of the idea of just the holiday, but some reason they decided, hey, we're just going to bring Costume Quest out first. They're like, why? Surely, you know. Getting stronger. Let's use some scrap energy to increase an emplacement's efficiency. Yeah, pretty standard tower defense stuff there. There you go. Let's fix that, shall we? Good job. Now we're ready. I like how it just obliterated the previous turret for no apparent reason. But it's like the home of tower defense is PC. Why not release the tower defense game on PC? You feel maybe that the market's oversaturated. Who knows what goes through the minds of Double Fine. I'm very glad that they still exist, though. There's 
curious story behind Double Fine, really, isn't it? They started off as this kind of AAA developer with a lot of money behind them, and they've reverted into kind of an indie dev that's doing Kickstarters and Xbox Live. And it's kind of sad to see, but it also does mean that they don't have to sacrifice their creativity, thank God. I must admit your Tidman have made me very angry. So I have created a blitzer to deliver my displeasure directly to your troops. Can you see how brightly it glows? Red with rage, Frank. My rage for you. I hate to say it, but this one's coming after you. Don't let it get close. One of them blows up in your face, it could take your whole trench out of commission. Well, thankfully, they blow up in like two shots, so that's not too bad. Wait, or maybe a few more. There you go. Dealt with. Ah! <laughs> yes, quiet. Mm, ah, get, go away. Problem solved. Anyway. It does have a very, very strong theme to it. And a lot of character. Which... I think that's one of the things that companies have realized they need to distinguish themselves in a world that is fairly saturated. And let's be honest, tower defense is a pretty damn saturated market. This is why I was very, very happy with Defense Grid. That had a huge amount of character to it. And that's very important. If you look at other tower defense games that don't, then they, they generally just don't do all that well, unless they're free, of course. You're trying to charge for a tower defense game, which started off as a mod. And there are plenty of free tower defense games available. A new emplacement, the dampening generator. It scrambles the tube circuitry and makes them slower than trench discharge fluid in January. Use it as shotgun turrets to slow enemies down in front of them. All right then. Dampening generator it is. Ah, so this one you can just place wherever the hell you wish. I see. Good job, Marine. Problem solved. Welcome to the party, gents. Yeah, that's right. Let's get over here. Sadly, this thing kind of hobbles around a bit. There's no speed upgrade for it, at least at this stage. I found the perfect well. spot for a dampening generator. I'll tell you that that previous dampening generator didn't do much, did it? Good lord, get out! Here's something else. Tubes. Oh my! Okay, apparently you can just punch it a lot and it'll work again. Problem solved. Get off the sodding boat. What, aren't you reloaded yet? All is fine. Why don't they just give up? Because the person behind the trench is utterly incompetent and they realize this. There we go. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we can upgrade that shotgun to it again. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. I think you're going to shoot a British officer, do you, Tommy? I think not. <laughs> he is surprisingly bloodthirsty. Sadly, our defenses on this side are fairly rubbish. At least we have two shotguns. That shotgun's having a lot of fun, there we go. That one's absolutely fine. You can get a closer look at your enemies if you squint your eyes just right. Thanks! That is, that is the most useless tip I've ever had. Wow. You know what the best thing would have been? If it didn't even give you a zoom option. It's just like, just say that. That would have been wonderful. I think it's best. I think the risk with a game like this is that waves can really drag on and you've really got to get the pacing right on your level. Obviously in tutorial stages it's a little bit different because you've got to teach various things but the risk is that you don't pace your levels properly and people just get bored of them and they drag on a little bit too long. Here we go. Press tubes over there. 12 waves for this one so at least they are almost at the end of it. So what people want in tower defense games is the ability to obviously upgrade their towers, upgrade their other stuff, and they get a, a nice steady flow of new material. 
And so far, I'm certainly not finding the game dull. I'm just, I'm concerned about its pacing in future levels. Let's get that all soaked up. Wonderful. Had an upgrade on that turret, so I might as well upgrade this turret, because, hey, it's the last wave. I was wrong, Frank. Wrong to attack your man, or your sad little deep. Wrong to scrape at the side of your ship like a tiny barnacle. I need to sink that ship once and for all. And I have just the thing to do it. His name alone is too technical for you to come and care. Why don't you just call him B Willy? All right, oh then. We could do it's, that. It's a monster. Give him everything you've got, man. Don't let him near the ship. Boss time. Here we go. Oh, Americans. Right, go on. Sadly, there's really not a lot I can do once he gets past the defenses, which he frequently does. This one for you, I want that. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Loot! Aha! Suddenly the game is infinitely more addictive. This ship is set to sail. Come on aboard, Marine. He seems mad. I mean, really. He seems rather annoyed by this. Big Willy. Good lord. Really, guys? Ugh. Incidentally, this game does have four-player co-op as well. I could definitely see that being very interesting. What do I get? Yay! Everything! That's what I like to see. Let us see loot. Oh, great. We, we got another sniper cannon. That's useful. How very disappointing. Maybe it's a better sniper cannon. Who knows? We shall find out. Ah, a new machine gun and a pile of money. Not that I've got any use for dollars, I'm British, but hey. Lad's been cooking up some new flying monovisions. We've got a new emplacement for you, the Black Turret. Equip this beauty to knock his monos out of the sky. Very nice. Can't we just shoot the guy that keeps coming over and jeering at us? That would be good. You can join up with other Marines to take on the two menace together. Stop by the radio room to search for brothers in arms, or invite your friends directly aboard the ship. Interesting. Well, whatever the case. Let's customize. Your emplacements. Just like your weapons, emplacements come in different sizes. Emplacements come in three categories. Light weapons, heavy weapons, and support. Experiment with different emplacement loadouts to take down the tubes. Interesting that you can only have four at a time. But I guess it does bring in an element of strategy once you get later on in the game, having to choose the right ones, so it's not too shabby, I guess. Alright. What can I buy? I want shotguns. That would be nice. Machine guns. Oh, I can have a flak machine gun, a normal machine gun. Huh. This one just seems to be outright better than the other one. It does the same amount of damage as a normal machine gun, but... And this is just rubbish. I don't even know why that's there. Shotguns and standard sniper... Ah, standard sniper cannon and light sniper cannons are different. Right. I see. Aha! Can I have hats? Give hats. No. Th These are not reasonable. This is, this is not a decent hat. Uh, that's okay, I guess, but these these hats, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. We need different hats. Casual Fridays. Lord. Alright, well, let's see what we've got in the first place. So, light sniper cannon is rubbish. Oh, I did just get a light sniper cannon. Much hate for you. Standard machine gun we can have. There we go. Bigger guns! what you want. These only take up one slot. I could actually have four of these. Whatever the case, I want shotguns. Sniper cannons are boring. What have we got? 
Alright, machine guns. I want a flak machine gun. And that is going to go on there. Yes. Now it's starting to look a little bit more threatening. Let's add a couple of shotguns to the mix. And a shotgun on there. There we go. Now rearrange them so they actually make some degree of sense. Because I'm fairly sure that's... Yeah, so that's probably not how it's supposed to work. I'm actually going to have to unequip here. Can I do that? What is the unequip button? Is there one? Well, I suppose if I equip the light machine gun there... I can then modify this to change this to the shotgun. Wow, that's... Oh, the X is unequip. I'm freaking blind. Wow. What is wrong with me? Unequip everything. There we go. We'll have machine guns on the top. Thank you very much. Standard machine gun. And on the bottom... Double shotguns. The manliest way of dealing with things. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that thing. That is threatening. I would be scared of that. Now I have to wonder why I can't paint this damn thing. Perhaps you can. There's an option for modify core there, but it's not unlocked yet. That will do just fine. The war effort has taken back the airfield. And we need you to hold it so that we can deliver supplies to the front lines. We're expecting a large amount of aerial monovisions in this area. So make sure you bring the right equipment. Vlad is behind some curious weather patterns at these high altitudes. So stay alert. And make sure you guard the backside of the control tower. You don't want those monos to catch you with your pants down. Alrighty then. Let's give it a shot. The war effort has taken back the airfield. Okay. And we need you to hold it so that we can deliver supplies to the front lines. We're expecting a large amount of aerial mm. monovisions. All right, I guess so. It's loading Make sure behind this. Right Vlad is behind some curious weather patterns at these high altitudes. Is that the plan? So stay alert and make sure you guard the backside of the control tower. You don't want those monos to catch you with your pants down. As far as I can tell, it's launching the mission, but it's not actually doing anything. I don't want to click this again because I got the same sodding briefing. Now, double time it over to ah, your okay. and get your equipment sorted so we can it's like launch. ready to deploy. Fair enough. That's absolutely unnecessary and a complete waste of time, <laughs> incidentally. Welcome to the last operational airfield in all of Europe. Every day, brave pilots navigate through flying tubes and erratic weather to deliver life-sustaining supplies from this airfield. We must fight to ensure they're able to continue doing so. The problem with your thinking, Woodrow, is that it's just so... pedestrian. Let me show you the heights to which the broadcast can soar. And let me show you how quickly these aerial monovisions can tear apart your fragile control tower. Did we shoot him yet? Ha! <laughs> Vlad doesn't know that we've been developing flak turrets for just such an enemy. Get some of them on the field right now. Alrighty then. Flak turrets it is. Which of the many weird buttons am I pressing for this? Is that a flak turret? No, this is a flak turret. Deploy the flak turret. Oh, it's in completely the wrong place and absolutely useless. Let's try it here then. Also, I do have a flak turret. Which it turns out is fairly effective. I must take advantage of this time to restore our defenses. It also turns out that I've set up my weapons completely wrong. I have a shotgun and a machine gun firing on both triggers at the minute, which is not what I was aiming to do. Oh well, never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. This one's for you, tube. You did not just say that. You did not just say that. I heard it. Don't lie to me. I know it happened. You bastards. What a great opportunity to collect some scrap. 
Mine, mine, mine. Not enough scrap to build anything useful, however. That was the extent of Double Fine's humor right there. It's never going to get any better than that. Indeed. Thankfully, I do have this flak gun. Not the fact that I've completely got my weapon set up wrong. Ah. There we go. I'm not to make that mistake again. Give me more delicious televisions to consume. What? That continues to be weird, regardless. Where's the best place to deploy? Welcome to the party, gents. I'm right, going from this direction, so let's get one. Let's charge you. Quick, take them out. Yes, I'm working on it. I'm trying to remember which of these sodding keys you asked me to use. This by keys, I mean you. buttons. I always forget buttons on the pad for some reason way more than I forget Wait buttons for on the keyboard. Not 100% sure why that is. Victory. But it does happen. Now. Yeah, honestly, putting a flak turret there was a really stupid idea. It doesn't really help at all. I want to remove that later. Right, which of your buttons is it? No, nope, not that one. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's. I think this whole double shoulder button thing that consoles have recently adapted is actually getting on my nerves in a fairly serious manner. I always forget which one is which. Is it bumper or is it trigger? Which is which? How many waves have we got on this? Interested to know. So is there another deployment point that I could put an actual shotgun to it? Welcome to the party, gents. Fifteen waves on this one. Wow. Once again, kind of running the risk of dragging on a little bit. I'd be quite surprised to have that many. Just like a I think probably in co-op it would be more interesting. Certainly, it's nice that you're actively engaged in the tower defense. It's it's not a new idea. Admittedly, this game has been out for a little while, so it's not like it copies dungeon defenders or anything like that. If anything, it's kind of quite the opposite. But the idea of making a tower defense a bit more active so you're involved in it as opposed to just sitting there. It's a good idea. I will now make the skies unleash their full fury upon your soul. Looks like Farnsworth is brewing up a storm. Watch the ground for electrified hotspots. Oh, that's actually a flak turret. I've deployed flak turrets everywhere. That wasn't a very smart thing to do. Good lord. Loot! There's loot over here! Must get close, even though it's highly risky. Give me loot. There we go. Alright, so can I undeploy turrets? Because I've accidentally deployed flak turrets everywhere, and it was very, very stupid. I don't know if I can actually. Maybe I can just can I just replace the shotgun turret? Yeah, nope. place that there. Yeah, because there's already a turret there. Can't remove turrets. To the party, gents. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So apparently I can't remove the turrets. Unless I'm missing something obvious here. Well, this is significantly unhelpful. At least no air units are gonna get through, but I'm gonna have to deal with the ground crap. Mostly down to the fact that I couldn't That's identify one icon from the other. That's my own stupid fault, admittedly. Let's get ourselves a damper or two. I'm sure it would. Maybe upgrade that flak tower. Well, nothing aerial is getting anywhere near this. Which is always nice. Great opportunity to collect some scrap. Thank you very much. But yeah, I don't know if I'd continue to play this game if it was paced in this manner, because I, th I do feel that the missions are dragging on somewhat. We're past the tutorial stage now, now we've got 15 waves. 
too many, in my opinion. I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, well, you know, our game's got 30 hours of gameplay, but I definitely prefer, at this stage anyway, quality of quantity. Like, maybe half the waves make them twice as tricky. Obviously not twice as tricky, because that doesn't work out at all, but make them a bit trickier. Let's set up some defenses. What can I get you? Well, I'd love to, but I can't get rid of the existing defenses. There doesn't appear to be a way of doing this. Therein lies the problem. So, Here we go. I can certainly understand the idea of you know swapping things around, but I would love to get rid of some of these. Oh, okay, so apparently this one has just got blown up or something. So I guess maybe I can get a shotgun turret down. There we go. I have to deal with these fellows. Thankfully, the shotgun will be down here. Wait for the reload. Such an idiot for setting these weapons up incorrectly. Nice work, Thank you very much, sir. Well, at least things can be blown up, I guess. I don't know if you can actually blow the turrets up yourself by shooting them. Uh, no, not by the looks of it. Nothing happens there. Let's get an upgrade on that. Well, I suppose there's never a great time for a blitzer attack. Oh, somehow I think not. This one's for you, tube! Oh, you didn't do that again. How dare you. Ooh, delicious loot that happened to be in the Sonic Suicide Bombers. Ow! Bastards. I don't even know if the shotgun turret actually contributed to this. Probably not. Upgrades the range under the damage. Today's forecast, you're dead. We need more ah, lines from ah, that guy, ah. as far as I'm concerned. He's far more interesting than everybody else. Alright, lightning storms, let's go. They're not messing around, are they? They really get, went very bombastic in this game. Good, because TDs have a tendency of not doing that. Always good to see them go completely over the top. Who's shooting at me? Right in front of you. Thank you very much. There we go. We'll finish this off and then probably just draw a conclusion on this for the moment. I definitely think I'd play this more in a co-op kind of setting. The problem is, of course, that you know this game's been out for a little while and I can't imagine there's much of a co-op community left for it. It's always the way when you've got co-op games. I know that they're just so vastly in advance of where you are that it's not really valid anymore. I seem to have lost a turret here. I'm not actually sure how that ended up happening. Oh no, no, we didn't lose a turret. It's right there. It's just a lot smaller than the area it's been put on. It's kind of weird in and of itself. There we go. Nice work, Marine. Are we done yet? How many more waves have we got to do? What I would love to know. You fools! All I've been trying to give you is information. The wisdom of the broadcast. Luckily, my new volt dropper is here to rain my wisdom down upon you. Receive my teaching from the sky. That guy is the best Got guy. A big one Look to the skies. Well, I suppose it's a good job that I have loads of upgraded flat turrets, isn't it? This one's for you. Tube. Might have to upgrade this a little bit more, if possible. No, nope, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Where'd he go? My trench is really taking a beat. Worried about that. It's okay, because we can, apparently can just beat on it and it will get right back up again. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm not even sure if I'm doing any damage to the thing at this point. There we go, that, that's the hit confirmation. Give me the loot! Give me that crate. This is what I want. Where'd it go? I assume I just got it anyway. Now that was fun. 
I'd pay to watch you do that again. That doesn't seem like a very good idea at all. Wonderful. Oh, and I don't get a gold medal. I am the worst person in the world. That makes me very sad. Although, I don't really have the motivation to go and do that level again. Ooh. Yes, that allows it. So I can now completely customize my trench with different kinds of stuff. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Ooh, that was green. I want to know what that's all about. I'm just going to check that out before I have to get to a conclusion now. We've got a new toy for you. A mortar turret. Yes, we get the idea. This heavy emplacement drops large explosives of groups of monitors. Really? A mortar does that? Surely not. Firing a mortar on the deck of a ship. That one out on the ship no! That was, I was thinking that as it happens, and there you go. Alright, I want to mess around with my rig just a little bit here. I also want to know what this green weapon is. Your trench chassis. Chassis come in a variety of configurations. Chassis? Each chassis has a different number and really? type of weapon and emplacement slots. Assault chassis have more weapon slots and fewer emplacement slots. Engineering chassis have fewer weapon slots and more emplacement slots. Try out different chassis types to find the trench loadout that fits your style. Hmm, so I have the, the number two, which has more armor. Does it have more slots? No, it doesn't. And there's that tiny one, but then there's a much larger one, which has even more gun slots on it. Which seems infinitely better. Yes. And yes, you can change the paint job. Yes, thank God. But the only paint job I currently have is olive, which is very, very upsetting. But yeah, I am intrigued to know what, what's, what's this deal... So, the flak machine. I, th I thought I got a green one. Uh, perhaps I wasn't paying attention, but. Yeah, see, I think you get the idea there. Alright, so. Have they unlocked more hats for me yet? Oh, you can buy a paint job. There you go. I have unlocked a new hat. Two, in fact. I'm still not impressed. We need a top hat for later. Anyway. So, conclusion on this one. I think the biggest problem I've got with it is the pacing. Biggest problem. Because tower defense games have a tendency to drag on just a little bit. And they are, by their nature, extremely repetitive. So... Oh, Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. The people in my chat are morons. They really, really are. Anyway. So... The problem I've got with it, as I said, is the pacing. That TDs have a tendency of being very repetitive. I think that the, certainly the missions earlier on could do with being shorter, honestly. I understand the whole feeding you and kind of drip feeding you uh, the tutorials as you go through. But like, that mission in particular was 15 waves of not a huge amount. I think it could have been condensed there. And if you end up having these long missions, then people do just kind of get the fatigue of the concept. Now, the idea of it being an active tower defense where you're stomping around this mech is awesome. It really is, and it's got a great sense of character to it as well. Seems like it's got plenty of variety available in there. I like the fact that they've added hazards. That's a great thing that you can do when you're not just this disembodied constructor. You can add hazards into the level that you actually have to directly avoid yourself. That's fantastic. I think in co-op, certainly, it would be a lot more interesting. On its own, I'd probably only play a few missions at a time. It's not the kind of thing I could really get engrossed in because the repetition is just a little bit too much. That says it does seem to have plenty of interesting content. The loot drops is a great idea in order to keep you playing and obviously throw in a few little random luck-based elements and things every now and again. That's always good. And... In terms of its style, well, it's double fine. What the hell do you expect? It's got an absolutely fantastic style to it. It does have DLC, and it does have this four-player co-op. I would love to see this on PC. I really would. I, I don't really see a reason not to release it. It's a $10 game one way or the other, so... Putting that out on PC would be a great idea. 
especially with the co-op. Hopefully they do it. At the moment, it's just available on 360, however. So there you go, folks. That's a look at Trenched here on the 360 as a test for my capture card, which seems to have worked fairly well, I've got to say. Um, very, very happy with the way the Avamedia card is actually performing. My name's been Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.